Hello everybody, it's the Home Dad. We're going to show you another video today. Today we're going to be doing um, homemade chicken nuggets. My family loves these. My wife and my son. Basically all I got here are just your skinless, boneless uh, chicken tenders. You can get from the store. I'm just going to cut them up in roughly one inch squares. Just like so and throw them in a one gallon plastic bag and then when I get them all cut up I like to just throw the flour and um, all my spices in there with them and then give them a shake kind of like a shake and bake and uh, I'll get them all coated the first time and then we'll do an egg wash and coat them in flour again before we fry them so I'll bring you back whenever I get these cut up and get ready to add the ingredients with the flour into the bag. Show you what that will, will be like. Be right back. Alrighty. Let's go ahead and put our ingredients in to our dry rub here. There's no real measurements with your flour. I just put a bunch in there like that. You want roughly a tablespoon of each. This is granulated garlic. Black pepper. Not quite a tablespoon, uh, probably a teaspoon or a little less of paprika. This just gives it a little bit of color. Just like so. We're going to do some onion powder. There we go. And this is up to everybody's taste. This is cayenne pepper. Um, I'm just going to put a tad bit just to give it a little bit of kick. Just that much. Probably a quarter teaspoon or less. If you want it spicier, add more. And we're going to do a tablespoon of seasoning salt. Like so. Let me just close our bag up. A little bit of air out. Just mix it up like so. To get all the pieces coated. You can let them sit in there for a half an hour or so and soak up all that good stuff. And then we'll go to our egg wash and throw it back into another flour mixture with the same ingredients without the cayenne so we don't want it too spicy and uh, we'll fry them up we'll be back then I appreciate y'all we'll be back here shortly all right everybody we're back we'll go ahead and start these just gonna grab some chicken I'm gonna dunk it in the egg mixture throw it in the flour Flour these up again. Just like so, take the excess off and just throw it on a plate. Got my wife's little glove on from her work and I got big old hands and she's got a tiny little hand so it looks goofy. that get nice and coated good press it down in there shake off the excess and throw it on the plate all right we'll keep at this and uh, I'll bring you back when we're getting ready to fry these things all right everybody we're back gonna be doing some frying now Give me a couple forks here. I'm just going to take these nuggets and just drop them in the hole. Just like so. I 
And I'll let them go until they're golden brown, then I'll check them with a instant read thermometer to make sure they're 165 in the middle. That's how I like to, to do mine. Just make sure when you're doing this, you don't overfill your pan or your pot. However you do it, I like doing mine in a wok. Makes it a little easy on me. Do it in several batches. And I'll bring you back once uh, we get some fried up and see what they look like. Hey everybody, we're back. We're on our last batch here of chicken. Just want to give you a little tip. You can do the thermometer um, and test the temperature, make sure it's 165 in the center and they're done. Uh, you can also tell if they're done when they start floating to the top. When they start floating, they're also done. And I also another tip when you're doing this, make sure you keep a good turn on them so they don't get burnt on one side if they touch the bottom of the pan. But here's what we got so far. Nice fried chicken nuggets southern style. Hope you guys enjoyed. God bless.